So we have options and decisions. Someone has options, options and decisions. Okay. Somebody can have a lot of options between um, a few people. Yeah, distractions. I'm hearing you guys got nothing to worry about. This person has options or decisions. Somebody, like, they're not interested. They're not interested at all. They could have used these options to distract them, okay? Okay. Um, Somebody's trying to get their mind off of something. I feel like it's you. Mm -hmm. This person could have multiple options, but nobody compared to you. Um, someone is not letting anyone get close to them. Mm, okay, options and distraction. That's what I'm feeling. Holy Spirit, give me more. But that's what I'm feeling. So, so. Somebody gonna use these options to uh to distract them from this connection. Um, thank you, Spirit said from how they feeling. Yeah, in the shadows. Ooh, this is somebody who likes to hide their feelings. This is someone who um. They don't want to deal with their feelings. They don't want to sit in their emotions because maybe it may be too much for them, okay? So they try to keep their options open to distract them from how they truly feel. Give me more Holy Spirit. Can I more Holy Spirit? Yeah, someone wants to talk. Mm-hmm. This is somebody that watches you whether this um is social media or somebody could be energetic energetically watching you they could be trying to um send you um telepathic communication but this is somebody who wants to reach out they're in the shadows you can't see this person but they see you this is somebody that don't want to be seen so you have a platform this will be somebody who has fake um a fake page okay and watches you um if you don't have social media platform like i said this is someone uh Telepathically, be, could, could be communicating you to you through music, billboards, synchronicities. It's like um, this person wants you um, to be reminded of them because this is how they this because they um, how can I say it? This is somebody that's in their feelings. They don't want to be in their feelings at all. Um, this could be somebody that does not you know when it comes to feelings they don't do so well with that. It's like, I want you to see me. I want you to feel me. But when it comes down to verbally expressing it, this person has a hard time. Give me more on this in the shadows. Because I'm picking up a lot. In the shadows. Somebody tried to hide the way they feel towards you. But now they want to talk to you. What's this in the shadows, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, obsession and addictions. Karmic partner. Hmm. So this could be somebody that was hiding. Um, the reason why they hide their true feelings is because somebody could be dealing with a karmic. Someone who's crazily obsessed over them. So somebody could be feeling like this is their way of protecting you from this karmic. Hmm. And give me another card. Oh, karmic partner and obsession and addiction. Somebody could be dealing with a karmic and feel like they got to hide. You know, how they feel into the emotions because of whoever they're dealing with. So again, if, if, I, if this person has um, left their options open, whoever they whoever they was dealing with, they just use this karma to distract them from the person that they truly love, the person that who they truly want to be with. Give me more on this karmic partner and obsession. This person has some insecurities, okay? But they're hurting. Yeah, I cannot make it up. Karmic partner, obsession and addiction is clarified with temptations. They use this person, they, they use this person to try to um take their mind off of you. Yeah. But games and it says game playing and cycle. This is a game that this person plays. Mm-hmm. It's something about time that's gonna show on this person. So this person will be getting fed up. That's the reason why they want to talk to you. Somebody can't take it anymore. Somebody is tired of playing these games with this karmic. Maybe something, um, obsession, addiction, and temptation. Maybe, maybe this person had like a sex addiction. Okay. This person could, um, 
You might think this person doesn't care because, you know, they constantly keep their options open. They run from person to person. But this is somebody that's, um, they hide from the, they hide from their true feelings. Okay. This is somebody who has a very lustful spirit. So they hook up with energies just like them. So they don't have to actually deal with, you know, um, deal with their emotions. Ooh. It's something about music with this person. This person can spend a lot of time in a car. This person could be a musician. This person can drink a lot. This person can be someone who likes to wear like nice watches. Temptation. Somebody is saying like they love will always be with you. Yeah, temptation is clear if I were intimacy. Come through Holy Spirit the body just I mean, can it get any clearer? Whoever this karmic is, this is somebody this is a sexual a sexual connection. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. This is a something toxic. This is somebody who has some type of sexual addiction. This is somebody who plays a lot of games. Okay, we have mirror and reverse. Mm. You guys are not matching energies at all. This person is playing their own games. <laughs> you somewhere far, far away. What's the mirror in reverse? Somebody can feel your energy is, is pulling up. You pulling away. You moving away. Yeah, him. This is my emperor. Yes. You guys are not marrying the same energy at all. You letting whoever this person is, is this is somebody that, oh, they need a whole cleansing before they even come to you. Mm. What they want to oh, what's that card? I, um compromise and opposites. So this person, you and this person was very different. This person could have, um, you guys can be two different nationalities. Take that how it resonates. Somebody wanted you to compromise, okay, with some type of toxicity um, that they got going on in their life. And I feel like you just wasn't going to do that. And because of you, you because you wasn't going to do that, this is somebody that just said, you know what, I'm going to keep my options open. I'm going to mess with this person. I'm going to mess with this person. I'm going to sleep around um, in the hopes to get over this um you know how I'm feeling about you, but they can't because they whoever they whoever these people that they dealing with, they realize it's only sex. There's nothing more. There's no feelings here. It's nothing but getting high, drinking, and and just fooling around. And it's something that's a cycle that just keep going on and going on. This person feels you like you're not, you're like you so detached from them. You're not marrying this person at all. This is day energy. What's up? Someone wants to talk Holy Spirit. Hmm. Yeah, they want to talk to you because look, high vibrational. Somebody wants your energy. Of course, you're not marrying this because this energy is very low vibrational. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You're not marrying this energy back to this person. Mm -mm. Somebody wanted you, could you, you to commit to them. But I feel like you said no. Like, you held back. You setting up boundaries towards this, this energy. Maybe this is somebody you do have a lot of feelings for and love for. But, what, you know, air signs are very logical. Like, you like, no, I, I'm going to get out my feelings when it comes to this situation. My nose itching. I'm going to get out my feelings. And I'm going I'm to I'm think smart about this whole, this whole situation. And somebody don't like that about you. Mm-mm. They want to connect with you because you know you're high, not only is you high vibrational, because this person feels like you you the only one that truly matters to them. I'm hearing you're more than just enough. Somebody knew that they couldn't play 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 these games with you. I'm hearing you someone that this person would want to have a family with, settle down with. And because you're not conforming, okay. To you know, whatever they wanted you to compromise with this person, and I don't blame you. Why would you, Sunsee? This is this is 
they got some they got some things going on in the shadows okay it's a dark side of them that you probably don't even have no idea of you probably know a pinch of it but this is right here this is somebody that mess around with low vibrational energies y'all have vibrational self will never oh shit someone new offer somebody could be afraid um be afraid of you uh meeting someone new Give me more on this ear sign. High vibrational. Someone wants to talk. High vibration. Yeah, they're missing you. This person is missing you. That's why they want to reach out and talk to you. I'm hearing I wish I could just take it all back. I'm hearing I wish I could take it all back. Somebody could be dealing with somebody that just like, that just nags them, bothers them. They feel like, it's just like, Oh, I just heard of oh. somebody hated here. Somebody doesn't like wherever they at. Give me more on the temptation and intimacy, Holy Spirit. Mm. For some of you guys, this person could have gotten a commitment with a karmic energy. Could have um gave this person a commitment. Give me more. For something would just Ooh, somebody was sleeping with somebody and it was just only that. And they wound up being in a connection with this person. I feel like this person is pulling away and they focused on their money at this time. Yeah, unconditional love. Somebody is pulling away from whoever this karmic is. This could be somebody who's working a lot, working long hours, or just putting their focus on, you know, and whatever they hustle is. And while they're doing that, this person has unconditional um, love for you. This person loves you. Somebody actually, they feel like you guys are going to get back together. This is somebody that, uh, they don't want to play, thank you, Spirit. They don't want to play these games anymore. Somebody doesn't want to be with this karmic anymore. They don't want to be in this karmic energy anymore. This person stayed away and hid from you because of their addictions. Somebody felt like if you knew the real them, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want them. What's the games and playing? Game playing? Game playing? Game playing of the spirit? Yeah, the game playing is clarified with cheating and deception. Ooh, chef. This person is known for being a cheater. They're known for being deceptive. This person is known for wearing a mask. You might think you get getting, um, you know, one version of this person, but this person got a lot of masks, yeah, and they're very prideful. This person, oh, uh, this person has like a type. I feel like you weren't a type. Not like you weren't a type, but how, how can I say it? Like this person has a type that where they go after what you know is lustful and you know, I just heard ghetto. So take it how it resonates. Like it's just like a it's, it's a certain type about this person that they go after. But somebody actually wound up falling in love with you and you were totally opposite from the type. So even if you is ghetto, that's your business, but maybe you just have class to you. You know, you have integrity towards you, you have morals, you know, you stand on that. Because like I said, with the air sign, you know, they, they're very logical, you know, they 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 think things through thoroughly. So, you know, something, you know, they're very smart as well. You understand? They're very smart. Because this person could used to be dealing with like, they type is um dumb, stupid, foolish, make dumb mistakes, don't think party hang out all the time do low vibrational things let's just let's get in the bed let's let's get high let's get drunk you know let's just have a good time we ain't got to be staying for the long time but because of you you pulled your energy back somebody actually wind up giving someone a commitment one of they one of the partners one of these sexual partners that they had okay it's a type that this person is used to going after. But somebody wound up falling in love with somebody who's high vibration that there's nothing like the type that, you know, they usually date. And because you wouldn't conform, you know, to whatever, thank you, spirit, because you wouldn't submit, okay, to whatever lifestyle that they wanted you to, you know, to, to come in. 
it, it caused some type of separation. And someone thought that, you know, it wouldn't bother them. So they just kept, you know, doing their own thing, keeping their options open, living a life the way how they choose, the way they wanted to, how they always play with the game cycles and playing. This is somebody that possibly always do this, always do this. And they are very comfortable wearing a mask because nobody could nobody truly knows this person you think you're getting one you get one version of them they are totally opposite but you're the only one that showed them unconditional love real love you know it was that unconditional love and high vibration it was giving me like you was very supportive very loving you know you was very different from you know somebody somebody is a child somebody's just childish you, it could be an age different or somebody could just be real childish like somebody like how you say like what like one of them round away girls confirmation like one of them round away girls you know oh okay they missing you friendship and trap yeah somebody this could have been like a friend like whoever they was you know they could have my nose mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this could have been like a friends with benefit situation um and they got trapped up in the situation and that responsibilities, friendship, trap, responsibility. Yeah, somebody, this person got some type of ties to this karmic in some type of way. Responsibility, trap, and friendship. So they could have just been out having a good time with this person, you know, hanging out. Like I said, it's getting sex high, you know, all of that. But they wind up getting trapped in a situation with this person and now they got response, some type of responsibility, some type of ties to this person. And they don't want to be there. Somebody don't want to be there. Somebody used, um, Whatever they hustle is, you know, whatever, how they get money, how they work, they use that to, um, ooh. somebody don't want to be around this karmic. They use that, to, you know, to distract them, keep their mind off of things. Somebody feels like, damn. Like, damn. Wow. Somebody feels like a stranger in their own home. Somebody feels like a stranger in their own home. So this person live with this person. Um, they feel like a stranger. Somebody feels like they somewhere where they don't belong. Let me see something. Somebody feels like they uh they feel like they don't belong there. Oh shit! Can we go on this energy of spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, despair. Mm, this person could be having financial issues with all the responsibilities that they got going on. This person could feel lonely. Things could be changing with this person's work. They could be looking for work. This person is not doing too well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even their skin look like it's changing. Somebody feels like something is choking them, like they like they tie and, and trap. It's like somebody feel like they can't breathe. So whoever this karmic is, they could be like on this person, but on this person back. This person don't even look the same no more. Like if you. <sighs> Whatever version that you remember how this person looked, there's something about their look that doesn't that doesn't look the same. Their hair could be thinning out. Oh child. Oh my water oh, we over here. Somebody is saying like, what, like I, I I gotta get you to get my uh, like. Somebody wants your attention again. Like they, when I say your attention, somebody is like, what do I gotta do to make this person come back? Let me get some water, Sussy. So somebody is in despair because everything that they wanted, anything, everything that they could have possibly have wanted, and someone, you're not there anymore, and they're going through the changes and the feelings. Yeah, community. I'm telling you, whoever they started a family with gave us gave this person a commitment. Three and nine breaking down to a, um a twelve, which is um is three. 
somebody could have been um guided or, or, or I'm getting like all forbidden not to not to do something. Maybe this person who they hooked up was like a familiar face, somebody in the, from the past or somebody from the community. Somebody who they used to see around the way. It's like all the feelings that they thought was, you know, you know, um, were going between you and them. It, it, it haunts them. I'm picking up on like a haunted. This person never got over you. What's the what's the disappearing community? I can't make it up. Bad health. Somebody, if you see this person, they're not gonna look the same. They're not gonna look the same. They stressed out. Somebody regret letting you go. Sunnywell imprisonment house. Something about responsibilities and stabilities. They feel trapped when it comes to a household coffin. Things could be dying out. Give me another card in the bad health. Bad health, great fortune. Somebody could be stressed out because they have a financial issue. Community. Somebody could always be wanting money. I can't pick it up. Unexpected income. Somebody could be always wanting something from this person. Yeah. But poverty. Somebody lost out a lot. Ooh, child. Something with their money money is coming to an end. It's like whatever habits that this person and their karma got, they they literally went broke. Judication, yeah. Somebody like, damn, I should have like, I should have never walked away. I should have never let you go. Damn. Anything else on the Yeah. So it's like somebody had to sit with the truth and it hurts. Yeah, they got to sit with the truth and it hurts. A courtship fell out or missing you. When it comes to this connection. You may think this person got over you. They never got over you. This person, um, is, is this person has addictions. Yeah, they do. They're concerned. They're concerned about you. Yeah. Concerned, high honor, sudden wealth, privileged lady. It's just like somebody literally like ghosted somebody for another energy or ghosted another, you know, ghosted you for for their addictions. You know, this could be up somebody who, who likes to party a lot. That's what it's giving me. And somebody is in concern because when they see you, they see you in high honor, they see you in sudden wealth, and they see you as privileged lady. They see you doing very well for yourself. Extremely abundant. And they never, they never expected that. I don't know how. And this stresses somebody out because how good you're doing for yourself. Yeah, it got the ball in their head. They want to reach out to you because somebody, somebody can't believe what the hell they done got themselves into. Yeah, but this will happen when you keep your options open. Somebody's choices of kind of, you know, bit them in the butt. What's the distraction, Holy Spirit? Now somebody want to make a move and come towards you. Distractions is clarified with trap. Hmm. Somebody feel trapped in a situation where they would do anything to get the hell out of it. Okay, literally, somebody feels like they got so much. It's like when they walked into the situation, they was having fun. They thought they had, you know, they was having a good time. But they didn't know they would rack up so much karma and responsibilities that, you know, they were experiencing the future for themselves and would cause them to be in poverty. And then when they look up, you know, um, they ain't concerned, of, you know, because they see you doing so well by yourself, so well. And it makes them miss you even more. Because you're the only one that showed them unconditional love. Whoever this karmic that they got, got hooked up with, this is somebody that always need, always want, 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 want. And somebody lost a lot dealing with this person. Yeah, I can't make it up. Friends with benefits. And what did I say? Toxic and crazy. Somebody hooked up with somebody that was friends with benefits. 
friends with benefits, and this person is toxic and crazy. Somebody's like, what the hell did I get myself into? I heard earlier somebody feels like a stranger in their own home. Somebody feel like, what, I don't, why is I'm here? Oh, yeah. Emotionally unavailable, single parent. You guys could be single parents. This person could have wrote you off or just made you feel unwanted. Could have put you through a lot. Was emotionally unavailable to you. Some of you guys, this person could have left you as a single parent. For others of you guys, this person could have took advantage of you knowing that you was a single parent already. You know what? What's this track in the trash? Yeah. Somebody could be scared that they're going to prison. They could be dealing with legal issues. Somebody's afraid. This person could smoke a lot. Oh, wow. Earth sign. Earth sign fell out on missing you. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Mm. What's the scare, Holy Spirit? Scared. Yeah, friends with benefits. Somebody is scared of a situation that they got themselves caught up in. What's under the bottom? Yeah, you, this is you, emotionally intelligent. That, you're that air sign. And they try to avoid you because you're so emotionally intelligent. And now when they look up to you, it makes them triggered because codependency and new love, whoever they decided to move on to or hook up with, this person is real codependent on the energy. And this is somebody with the conflict. All they do is argue and fight. They argue and fight. I'm hearing over the littlest things. They always argue. Energy and apology. Yeah, somebody misses you. They miss your energy. They miss your energy. Mm-hmm. Someone who you shared a lot of chemistry with. You guys could have called each other queen or king. But yeah, this is somebody is sneaky. Sneaky and water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So whoever this karmic is, they know that this person watches you or they know that this person wants to be with you. Ain't no way in heck. If you look at this man, this woman is actually looking at this man, looking at the phone. So they could be seeing this man while looking at your pictures. Somebody is settling for a connection because they know that somebody is in love with you. But this is a situation where whoever this karmic is, they knew what it was when they got with this person. I don't know why they thought it would, it would, would be better for them. You don't have vibrational one. If it didn't work with you, if he wouldn't, if he wouldn't do right by you, why the heck? He, why would this low vibrational energy think that he would ever do right by them, him or her? That's why all they do is argue all the time. Argue. I heard about the littlest things, codependency and new love. This is a codependent connection. Very karmic. I heard somebody only intentions is getting you back. I heard that's a mission. Mm. Wow. Give me more Holy Spirit. Or give me more. Or give me a card on the sneaky. Sneaky Holy Spirit. Sneaky. Sneaky. Ooh, shit, Holy Spirit is coming through the day. Sneaky is clarified with lies. Mmm. This person was lying to themselves when they committed to this um, karmic because they knew that they wouldn't, they didn't want to be there. But somebody felt like, because I heard earlier, because you wouldn't submit or compromise with them, whatever this low vibrational energy that they was in, you was like, no, I'm not, uh-uh, uh-uh. If you ain't going to come correct, then we can't make this work. So they went to a lower vibrational energy. And this person, okay, you know, they conformed, you know, whatever, whatever type of time this person was on. They was like, all right, I do that. You know, I, 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 I like somebody thought they had, oh, wow, spirit. Somebody thought they had one up on you because they got this person. Only the, only, only to find out the only reason why you got this person is because you don't want them. Because you too emotionally intelligent. Somebody really thought they got one up on you. Like if they want something, they ain't wearing nothing but a bunch of lies, cheating, deception. Somebody who wear masks. Who chair? independent yeah this person is yeah no contact so fantasy and um yeah whoever this person is they daydream about you 
seeing you in this independent energy, which is not a pinnacle, self-sufficient, hardworking. Okay, so may yeah, this is somebody here. Yeah, no contact and walking away. Somebody feel like you got away, Empress. Mm -mm. They fantasize how life will be if you guys come back together. They feel like you walked away from this connection. Somebody want to spend quality time with you, possibly take you out, but they find, yeah, look, financially trapped and dating. They want to take you out, but somebody don't have the finances to do that because they got a lot of responsibilities or whoever they was, you know, wherever they, you know, they got themselves caught up in a situation with. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but whatever this lesson was, um, you learned it. Mm. Ooh, Give me a card on the options and decisions. This person, um, if you send this person any pictures, this person looks at your pictures and they and they like literally like they glaze like they like somebody looks into your eyes in a picture. It's something about your eye. This person like gazes into your eyes in a picture. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> options and decisions was clarified with happiness, immature. Ladies, men, the player, and third party come through Holy Spirit, non-committal. This person who left their options open, they thought, you know, they was living their best life. They thought they was going to be happy, you know. You know, whoever this immature person is, doing things the way they wanted to do it, be childish. Ladies, men, this person was a player. Okay? And this person put you in a third party situation. Excuse me. Give me more of this energy, Holy Spirit. And then you're full of regret. Yeah, King of Swords. This person was ruthless. They was mean. Um, they was stubborn. Okay, they wanted things their way. Moon, they was very secretive. You could have been possibly married to this person. Or this could just be, you know, you guys just uh, could have been separated and just not on, you know, not on good terms. So you decided to walk away with that walking away card. Oh, I'm going to need some more water. Yeah, two of pinnacles. This is somebody that juggles people, Okay. Mm-mm. There's somebody that don't... Mm -mm. Give me one second, something. This is somebody that um is juggling um a, a lot in their life right now. Um, Their life is in limbo because of all the options and, you know, and decisions that they made. This is a busybody. What's the moon card? This could be a twin flame. Moon cards clip out with um twin flame. Twin flame. Mm. This twin flame is missing you. Yeah, nine of swords. Having sleepless night. Anxiety, restless. Um, could possibly have nightmares, worry. Um, this person's upset with their decisions. The shrimp card, Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer energy. Five of Swords. This person played the mind, a lot of mind games. This person wanted to win by all costs. Um, this person tried to literally, for some of you guys, this person tried to like play like that silent, that silent treatment. Um, to play with your head, to play with your mind. This is somebody who you don't want to, you know, sleep with. You know, you don't. Mm -mm. None of that. Like, it's something about your confidence for this person. This person feels like the nine of swords, the strength and the five of swords. Somebody feels like with this independent, somebody feels like you're confident, you know, with being, you know, independent or being single. Like, it's something about your confidence and your independency that makes this person feel some type of way. Because it's like, 
somebody don't like that, you could just go on and, and you you could handle it. You could you could you could do this by yourself if you have to. Not that you choose to, but because this person they I mean they didn't give you no other options. They was non committed, they was immature, they wanted to be a player, they wanted to do all of this stuff. And it's something about your confidence that stresses this person out with the nine of swords, five of swords. Because we've seen codependency yeah, codependency and new love. This is somebody that's used to people that's being codependent on them, and you're not. You're not. So because you're not, and you decided to walk away, they decided to put you in a third-party situation. Yeah, four wands, temperance. This was definitely a twin flame. Someone you were supposed to be in a relationship with, someone you were supposed to partner with, be together with. Um, you know, you guys were definitely supposed to, like, transform together, you know, heal each other. But somebody chose to stay in their in their shadow side, you know? And everybody had free will, you know? Can't can't force nothing on nobody. Somebody chose to stay in their shadow side. And now, you know, look how that's working out for them. Cause it seemed like with all of these swords here, it, it, it puts a person nothing in their head. Somebody cannot stand how confident and how strong you are. It bothers them. What's the five of swords? Oh shit. I don't know what that they expected you to do. The Five of Swords is clarified with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This it's, it's too many swords out here. Somebody can literally have like a mental issue. You got King of Swords, Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords. Who shall? Somebody can have like a mental issue. Um, but this is somebody who goes around betraying people, cheating on people. Um, they have a lack of conscience. They're very deceptive. This is somebody who constantly, with this game playing right here, in cycles, this is somebody who's always living a double life. They're a liar. They're a thief. Um, with the Knight of Swords to the Seven of Swords, this person was moving out here reckless. Um, they made some type of rapid, you know, um, decision, and they have regret about it. They feel defeated because somebody feels like they ruined things with you. Oh, Two of Wands. I told you it was something about the whatever decision, whatever they, whatever they um, decision of whatever way they chose to go, it it, it it bit them in the butt. What's this? The Empress. The Empress of the Two of Wands. Who share? And you just went a whole direct, a whole another um direction, Empress. Empress of the Two of Wands. That is the, um, yeah. Somebody feel like you walked away. And it's hurting them. Because somebody feel like, I can't feel your energy. Somebody, see, somebody, um, you can have this person blocked or having, you just not dealing with this person because the mirroring card came up in reverse. So you guys are not no longer on this, like, y'all not on the same type of time anymore. It's, yeah, spiritual lesson. Somebody is wondering why they can't feel your energy anymore. Ooh. Yeah, the fool card to the five of wands. They feel like a fool for putting you in competition. Six of swords, you move away to karma waters. Ace of wands, you get a new passion to begin it. After closing out a cycle. Mm. This person was very materialistic as well. The only major comments we have out here is the moon to the shrift to the empress. To the temperance. Somebody is all in their head, daydreaming about this empress, how strong you are, how brave you are, how balanced you are. Yeah, because the only major occurrence is the moon, the shrimp, the temperance to the empress. Somebody like, it's like you, 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 you regain control of your life. You got your life back. And somebody is all in their head because they see you in this balanced energy, you know? Being brave, strong will, confident. It's like, somebody like, I want the empress, that beautiful, abundant energy. Yeah, six of cups. I'm sorry. Six of pentacles to the nine of cups. You, this person's wish fulfillment. Some, yeah, the um, eight of wands. That's that eight of wands. That's that communication. Someone wants to talk. Yeah, your emperor. Mm -hmm. They want to talk. The emperor, eight of wands, nine of cups, six of pentacles. Because they see you as they wish, sun seeds. 
Now they, you know, somebody wants to, you know, give to this connection. They want to talk to you. They want to change things. Somebody feel like they might be out of time. What's the um? Can they call an emperor? Say for Holy Spirit. The emperor is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Swords. It's like as they heal, they they feel like they you know they're supposed to be with you. They want to give you um they want to um they want a brand new beginning with you. They want a new opportunity to like start things over with the force towards they they want to heal things with you, Sunsees. They want how can we start all over? Because I had I had um I said six of cups earlier, but it was really six of pentacles. So this could have all happened in the past between you and this person. Give me a card on the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Yeah, they want to heal things. They want a new beginning. This person who is non-committal. Yep, Four of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Give me another card on the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, the Three of Swords. It hurts this person. Um, It hurts this person because they held back from the... They, 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 they person they were supposed to be with. They held back from you. Like when this person betrayed you, they betrayed themselves. It's like they stabbed them own self in the back with this third party situation. Yes, they did. Cause you already wish fulfill me. Mm. Not a pinnacle. This is you, Empress. Somebody is seeing you in this abundant, wealthy confirmation. Um, you know, you're just doing real well for yourself. That's the privileged lady. Privileged lady, self-wealth. Ugh, self-wealth. <laughs> privileged lady, self-wealth. So just the way how you take care of yourself makes you wealthy. Privileged lady, sudden wealth and high honor. This is how they see you, Empress, not a pinnacles and an empress. Somebody cannot believe what the hell they did. All they want to do is heal things with you. Queen of Swords to the Knight of Wands. Yeah. The higher friend. Somebody realize whoever they got into a commitment with. The higher friend, Knight of Wands is the um the higher friend, Knight of Wands, and Queen of Swords. This person a whole just like them. I'm just saying. Like this person sleeps around just like them. Whoever this Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, all right, friend. Whoever they marry, they they on the same type of time. See, that's what you so that's the type look, the magician. I'm telling you. <laughs> Listen, they attracted their own type. And you was not about to play with the Empress. Why, why why would you? Why would you? Yeah, that's that spiritual lesson. What do they call that? Oh, they learn. Give me a call in the high friend. They going through changes right now. They learned something that I should have never gave this person a commitment. Yeah, five of wands. That's that conflict and drama. All they do, I heard, they fight, they argue about the littlest things. Somebody is like, somebody like, well, how did I get here? Five of cups, regret. Somebody feels like a stranger. Like, how did I get here? Page of wands to the nine of wands. They want to talk to you. This person don't want to give up on this connection. Three of Cups, they want to reconcile with you. The Sun card, because you're their happiness. Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on things. Three of Wands, how can we move forward? They in Hermit right now, thinking about that. They they somewhere in solitude. The Hermit to the Ten of Swords, thinking about how they hurt you. They backstabbed you. They betrayed you. Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords. How they was out here only thinking what they want. And it, caught, it got them caught up in a lot of responsibilities, you know? So for some of you guys, they're like, it's some type of mental prison, some mental chokers. It's like this person, something is with the mental. You understand? Something with the mental is messing with this person. Four cups, the devil. This is somebody that's always losing. Like this person lose out on good things, whether it's jobs, um, good people, good relationship, good connection. Somebody always do that because of whatever the whatever toxic um attachments that they have. The world card, but something is coming to an end and they want your apology. Ooh, mm. Somebody could call you sweetheart, but they want to come in and, and they want to make things right, okay. How can we move forward? Whether you're aware of it or not, 
You help this person grow from afar. Mm-hmm. So somebody, let me get you um, uh, let me get you some um signs. Even though we've seen some, but let's get you guys some signs like. Yeah, this person, ooh. It's like whoever they hook, and that's why I was like, ain't no way in hell this person just watching this person be sneaky, and they just like, what woman or men just will allow that and not say anything? The reason why they allowing that, and they then so the third party know what's going on because they on the same type of time this person is. This person sneaky, this person a liar, this person a cheater. They, they, they whoever they done hooked up with, they is the same exact way as them. Yeah. Let me get you guys some signs. That's somebody that's crying. Let me pull from this deck too. Give me some soulmate. Give me some messages on the spirit. Hurting you was not the plan. The distance between us is killing me. So embarrassed. I acted foolish and don't know how to tell you how sorry I am. Yeah, because they're in that King of Swords energy. This is somebody who's still, you know, um, we seen the King of Swords and it was clarified with the moon card. This is somebody that's all in their head, all in their um, they feelings, you know? Their intuition know they're supposed to, you know, but I feel like they are going to reach out because they do want to talk to you. Maybe, this, like I said, this could happen in the past where they were just once cold and they, and they, um, they weren't able to apologize. Each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day I will be ready. Give mm. me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, my pride and ego led us astray. One day I believe we will be back together again. All those secrets I ooh, all those secrets I kept caught up with me. Each and every last one of them. I told you. That karma is kicking this person behind. And it was so many swords. You know, swords deal with the mind. Somebody's mind is like, ooh, chef. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. Yeah, this was somebody that was cold and detached and wanted to do things their way. And now they hooked up with the same energy as them. We both changed a great deal. I fear you moved on from me. Yeah, somebody feel, fear that you got a whole new love. Somebody knows that, you know, they want to heal this connection with you. It says each day I think about how it would be if we were together. Um, one day I would be ready. Somebody has racked up so much karma for what they did to the divine counterpart that they got to get that. They got to they gotta handle that. Yeah. For a lot of you guys, I feel like the, the phone call is going to be apology. Somebody knows, somebody feels, whoever your person is, they ain't no fool though. Okay? They 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 feel like a fool, but somebody feels like to start the to start this healing, to get whatever it is off they back up, they got to apologize. Can we get a little Libra? Yeah, they was non-committal. So... Yeah, they fear that you moved on to someone else. You know, Holy Spirit. We got Venus, who speaks about love and Gemini. It was heavy on the ear sign of being, yeah. So there's a Gemini that's in love with you. Give me more Holy Spirit. Uranus, Mercury. It's something, um,. It's something that this person wants to communicate with you. It could be an Aries. I heard this person is very is this person is very attracted to you. Mm-hmm. With this Uranus card, Uranus speaks all about freedom and like um taking a leap of faith and freeing yourself. This person wants to take this leap of faith on this connection. They do. And that's what they're going to communicate to you. The Venus, Gemini, Uranus, Mercury, and Aries. Yeah. They want to take a... Um, 
they want to take a leap of faith on this connection. This person could have uh, walked away from that um, that karmic. Yeah, because Uranus speaks all about leap of faith and freedom, freeing yourself from a situation. Do we want to spirit? Thank you. Again, Libra popped up. So you got heavy on the Libra, Gemini, Aries. Yeah, somebody don't want to be a player no more. I'm telling you, they don't want to be a player no more. That's that Uranus. Yeah, they want to take a leap of faith. Now they want to take a leap of faith on this connection. Now they want to free themselves from whatever toxic um, attachments that they had. Earth sign, you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. And at the bottom, we have Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Sun sign, and heavy on the Cancer. Um, if this is not their sun sign, this would be their moon sign. Their sun sign, their moon sign. I just heard rising. So take that out, Bethany. Yeah. And this that Mars. They're very highly attracted to you. All right, so I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity on your situation. Anything you know about me will be in the description box. Later, Sussie.